Hey guys, uh, here's a video for uh, Iridar Twins. It's really, uh, for the most part, a DPS race. There's going to be a couple of abilities that you need to react to uh, from the boss, but aside from that, you're just burning down uh, one boss and then pushing into the second phase, which is just a single boss. Um, what I choose to do is sit up on this ledge uh, the furthest distance away from the boss that I can really be because uh, Lady will spawn these little shadow ads and you see it coming up to me right there. The longer that they have to travel, the less time they have on you. So what I do to start out, uh, just start burning Lady uh, as much as you can. Whenever this con flag comes up from Grand Warlock, just feign death it uh, so it does not hit you. Uh, that will start stacking up and, and kill you later on in the fight if you let it hit you. Uh, the rest of it's just really uh, staying out of fire, uh, staying kind of as far away from the boss as you can, um, so that whenever they con flag your turtle or pet, uh, lady has as far a distance as she as she can before she can get to you when she starts running to you. When her ads start running to you, you need to, to be as far away as you can from them. And whenever con flag comes up like it just did, just feign death it. That's about it. Uh, you see the pyrogenics buff on Grand Warlock. I wouldn't worry about it. It's only a 35% uh, increase to her already uh, negligible damage, pretty much. They're not going to kill your pet. Um, so it doesn't really matter if you dispel. I think I dispel in the, in the next phase, but before that, I don't really worry about it. It's really just making sure uh, you know enough about the marksman tree and, uh, and hunters in general to pump out enough DPS to kind of survive the first phase. Um, if you need any help with it, I put out a video for uh, for really um, covering a lot of the basics of the marksman tree and, and, and hunters kind of in general and what enchants you need and what points in the spec that you need and your uh, rotation to kind of pump out some serious DPS uh, with this class. And if you need uh, some help on that, some tips on that, the video is on my channel. Pushing into the second phase. Uh, it's just a single boss, Grand Warlock. She no longer conflags. Uh, what she'll start doing now is a Shadow Nova. And so you just want to make sure you have Intervene up. Um, I use my Intervene on the Pyrogenics deal, not on the Shadow Nova. Um, doesn't matter, my Intervene's still up for the Shadow Nova, so it's fine. Uh, but you want to use uh, in either Intervene or Feign Death on that Shadow Nova. And you might need both, so I would come in here with a pet that can intervene. I, I believe um, later on one of them is on cooldown so I have to use the other one. Uh, so it's just kind of burning burning the boss at this point uh, during the first phase uh, staying kind of as far away from the from the bosses as you can. I, I actually in the to start the fight out I misdirect Lady onto my pet but have my pet on Grand Warlock and just con you know continuing to use feign death to drop the lady aggro so that she has aggro on my pet and um, I, I throw in a couple of misdirects to keep her on the pet while I'm DPSing her down so I'm not really worried about Grand Warlock aggroing from healing aggro or anything like that uh, while I'm trying to burn down lady that's really about it you know just a feign death con flag uh, during the second phase you use uh, Intervene on the Shadow Novas. Keep uh, putting uh, 